this hour. In response to last night's illegal broadcast by the SRC, President Rufus Shinra held an emergency press conference this morning. In it, the President denounced the SRC's claims as baseless propaganda. So those creepy out. Breaking news at this hour. In response to the legal broadcast by the SRC, President Rufus Shinra. Hey, Kate Sith. Did you hear anything about what went down at the Nebel reactor? Not much, I'm afraid. Just an unknown force had breached the perimeter. Shinra troops were dispatched in response, and a battle ensued. Now I get it. That was their plan all along. Hey, come again? They wanted to be found. They lost on purpose. That's the only explanation. How else would ninjas lose to grunts? They just threw their lives away. Who would do something like that? I mean, would you? Sure I would. In a heartbeat. So, the Kayans really are the fate to die. Of course we are. It's scary. And it sucks. But I'd still do it. That's how much I hate Shinra. Hey, you said you thought your people had lost the battle. But you definitely need to make a point. What better way to prove how evil it is than with a pile of dead bodies? My people sacrifice themselves for the greater good to stoke the flames of rebellion. Yeah, that's it. It must be. Out of curiosity, do you know Viceroy Sunny? Duh. I mean, I don't know, know him. Like, I've never met him or seen his face, but no one has, which makes sense. He's Shinra's most wanted, so he's gotta lie low. Real low. Oh, but that's secret. Top secret. In my big mouth. Billy? What are you doing out here? Um, I haven't had much luck at the racetrack lately. Not the good kind, that's for sure. So I came here to train. Train? Here? You don't know where you are? This is the home of THE Chocobo Sage! A living legend! Surely you've heard of the man! <laughs> Did someone say living legend? <coughs> you okay, sir? <sighs> I am now. Thought I was a goner. Huh? Mind telling me who you are? I don't get many visitors out here in the boonies. Uh, this is Cloud. He's a jockey for Gramps' ranch. Oh, he is, huh? Perfect. Billy here needs some help. You can pick up the poor boy's slap. There's this big race at the saucer, the Gold Cup, and it's coming up soon. We gotta get in on that, so I came here to bone up. I'm learning all sorts of stuff. See? Hey, tell me you're not buying this choco dung. Picking garbage out of a pool isn't training, it's manual labor. You see it too, right? What? If anyone was gonna get it, figures it'd be you. This man right here wrote the book on chocobo rearing. In fact, pretty much all the major breeds maintained these days are products of his techniques. If you can flap your gums, you can move your gams. Now get on back to your training. Sorry! As for you, I know just the thing. One of my chocobos ran off when we put her out to pasture. Need you to find her. Bring her back. You're asking me? Her name is Selena. Ain't your normal chocobo, neither. Loves the ocean more than home. The way she makes rolling waves look like solid ground. No wonder she thinks she's the bee's knees. Please, Cloud, would you mind? Just think of it as a favor for me? You've got a gift for wrangling the wild ones. Hey, 
Cage is a hack. And trust me, I should know. His kind are nothing but hot air. Never practicing what they preach. You should have seen this one, loser. The jerk couldn't hear any of us over the sound of his own stupid voice. Who exactly? My old man. <laughs> Excuse you, it's not funny. Celebrate. We're in dangerous territory, then. Rare Nemo Wolf variant detected. Commencing Guidance Protocol. The wolves of this region maintain a strict hierarchy. The pack leader is said to be imbued with an acid.
<sighs> Impressive work by Cloud today. Though it wasn't easy, he finally brought the feisty Selena to heal. Lucky for him, because more attempts would have been humiliating. Get her back to old Sagekins, shall we? There you are, Selena. Well, I underestimated you. Takes real skill to tame this girl. Skills like those of... Hold on. I know this. I do. Why can't I remember? Oh, damn it. This is gonna bother me all day. Oh. Aha. There we go. It was Sam and Will. What? They were far and away my best disciples. As I was saying, you, Cloud, you may well become as talented a trainer as them one day. <laughs> Did I hear you right? Sam, you gotta tell me everything you know about him. You're gonna give me whiplash, son. <sighs> the Sam guy you taught. You mean Chocobo Sam out of Midgar? I do, but why do you want to know? Because me and him, we got history. You see, I'm Will's son. Well, don't that beat all. I'll never forget those two. They had such a powerful passion, and an eagerness to learn, too. Everything they did was for the birds. That's not the Sam I know. Sam's a demon. He led my parents to an early grave. Got them hooked on gambling. Pushed them to rack up tons of debt. And then... Eh, that don't sound like him to me. You sure you ain't got your Sams mixed up? It's a common name, you know. Only one Sam in this business. I swore that I'd humiliate him by winning the gold cup. Destroy his reputation. Then I'd at least have some kind of revenge for what that bastard did to my parents. Hmm. Now that that's out of your system, back to it. Excuse me? You heard me. Thought you came out here to learn about chocobos, not to get revenge. Uh. Cloud, for your next task, I'll need you to take Selena and gather choco grass, which so happens to grow above bodies of water. Are you kidding me? This fossil's trying to get us to do his dirty work again? <coughs> Cho 
Choco grass is a genuine panacea. I kid you not. It'll cure whatever ails you, and then some. And once I am cured, maybe I'll be inclined to share more stories about the good old days. Uh, he's obviously full of it. If not for him, then please do it for me. I need to know what happened to my dad. <sighs> okay. When I said it grows above water, I meant above. It's called the floating flower, because it grows in the air. But with an ocean chocobo, you can harvest the stuff with ease. Thirty tufts ought to do. Best hop to it, Cloud. You don't want my death on your hands, do you? <laughs> hey, since you seem to be in the know, give me the skinny. Who's the Sam guy? Big shot in Walmart. Uh huh. So he must be pretty scummy. I don't know. But the nail business aside. It didn't strike me as a total asshole. Interesting. Well, maybe your powers of perception weren't honed enough to see through his facade. That's gotta be it. Oh, if only I had found you sooner. I could have saved you from your own gullibility. Ooh, ooh, ooh.
You get your hands on that choco grass. Well, well, if it ain't my beloved choco grass. This stuff can be one hell of a hassle to gather. Thank goodness I had you to get it for me. Okay, so what are you gonna do with it? <laughs> I suppose you've earned the right to know. First, I take this fluff. Mix it with some chocobo feathers, and let it ferment. Once it's dry, I boil it all down. Then I squeeze it all out and voila! My patented choco tincture. That's some kind of magic medicine? Oh no, just a little fun. This wrinkly cheeky old... <laughs> Speaking of grass, if you've got some extra tufts on hand, would you mind sharing them with my assistant at the shop? I promise I'll make it worth your while. Please, tell me about my father. Hold your chocobo, son. There's still one thing you need to do for me first. What a surprise. This geezer isn't gonna tell you jack. Face it, kid. You got a lot of nerve. Casting aspersions. After all the wisdom I've shared. All the what now? So you haven't realized you've been training this whole time? Tracking down Selena forced you to get in touch with a chocobo's feelings. And all that running across the water you did helped hone your sense of balance and your bird handling. Key skills for any aspiring jockey. What do you say, Cloud? Bet you feel like a real choco pro by now. Can't say I do. Sounds to me like you need more training. Reckon we ought to add one more item to your regimen. Think of it as a final trial of sorts. Oh, give me a break. Don't go changing the subject here, Gramps. We're not doing your stupid trial. No, it's fine. I'll do it. Then it's settled. I'll be your opponent. And dear Selena will be your steed. If Cloud wins, does that mean you'll finally tell me about my dad? You've got a deal. But know that I won't be pulling any punches out there. When you're ready, give me a holler and we can hit the track. You prepared to undertake the final trial?
my ever-loving feathers. That was one hell of a performance. If I didn't know better, I'd say this wasn't your first rodeo. Surprise. Well, shoot. You got me good. And once you start tearing up the track out there, the racing world will blame me for letting you loose. A promise is a promise, sir. Please tell me more about my dad and Uncle Sam. Hmm. All right, then. What do you want to know? Let's see. They couldn't have been much older than you are now. The two of them came and asked me to take them under my wing. Turned them down, seeing as I'd already retired. But they hung around the grounds anyway. Since they had nothing better to do, I put them to work. And that's how it all began. Well, wasn't nothing out of the ordinary, I'd say. Ran some errands, did some repairs, helped around the house. You know, your standard training regimen. And in their downtime, they took it upon themselves to dig through my library, learning about chocobos and how to handle them. Came to differing conclusions. They used to argue something fierce. I can't say the two of them got on terribly well. I figured. Will and Sam had mighty strong opinions about how to best raise chocobos, and it drove them to fight with their words and with their fists. That said, only reason those two fought as hard as they did is because they both cared deeply about the cause. As far as passion is concerned, the two of them were birds of a feather. Hmm, how you feel now? Managed to sort out the mess inside? Uh, uh, what do you mean? When we first met, I saw the way your eyes were brimming with anger. I knew right then and there that what you needed wasn't teaching or training. What you needed was time. Time to look deep inside yourself and clear out all the wickedness and spite that have been haunting your heart. Which is why you had him clean out the pool? Exactly. I don't know what happened to your father after he left this place. And I can understand why you'd want to beat old Sam in a race. Few things feel better than sticking it to someone who did you wrong. But that being said, you should never use your birds as tools for revenge. Ask yourself, why did I decide to start raising chocobos? I guess... I guess it's because I saw how happy those birds made my mom and dad. How they'd smile. The chocobos brought us a lot of fun, and brought us together as a family. I guess that's why. Good enough. The why is important, so don't forget yours. I reckon Sam's got his eyes on the gold cup. Keep yours unclouded by hatred, and you'll do fine. Thank you, sir. Thanks for everything. I'm gonna head back to the saucer, make sure our birds are ready for the big race. Don't worry about putting your name in. I'll take care of it. All you need to do is show up and win. You got any choco grass for me? Now how about plumes? I know the sage is a bit of a handful, but stick with it, okay? It'll all pay off in the end. I promise.
There's nothing here yet. First time in your house since I was five. Is it really mine, though? Just listening, you've got a great voice. Oh, you flatter me. I didn't even know I was doing it. You see, this cat I feed sometimes has gone missing. And when I worry, I cannot help but sing. Hey. Hmm? Sounds like a job for a merc, doesn't it? Well, aren't you the picture of confidence? You wouldn't happen to be a professional feline finder, would you? Not officially, but I've got a good cat-catching record. Been doing it since I was a kid. <laughs> I'm Christine, by the way. Chef and chanteuse. You might want to start by looking around the foot of Mount Nebel. She's got the most beautiful snow-white coat. Petite little thing, too. Speaking of, she must be starving out there. Here, be sure to feed her. All this talk Let's take a little break and try to get some back. Yeah, the one and only. What happened to her, anyway? No idea. I haven't seen her since the fire five years ago. Man. Careful out there. Hey, there's Beans something I've been meaning to ask you. What? How come you named your cat Fluffy? It's not like her fur was long or super soft or anything. 
Well, to be fair, I wasn't the one who named her. The mayor gave her to me as a gift for my 12th birthday. When he put her in my arms, he said, this little lady's name is Fluffy, but he never explained why. Don't get me wrong, I was dead set on giving her a better name. But before I could, everyone had restarted calling her Fluffy. And the more I heard it, the more I thought, well, maybe it's not that bad. So I let it stick. I wasn't much of a fighter back in those days. Hard to believe looking at me now. Hey, do you remember that red bandana Fluffy always had around her neck? Now that you mention it. Believe it or not, my dad made it. With cloth from one of his old shirts. Even though she was my cat, I think he took better care of her. That right. Sorry, didn't mean to bring him up. No need to apologize. something over there let's go So good. Let's try giving her the cat food. There's plenty more where this came from, so dig in. Leave him alone. Take the lead. Here I go. Not now. How you like this? Taking over. <laughs> Come Yeah. 
Deal with that. Here I go. Good to go. My turn. Keep it together. Let me hear. Allow me. Bring it. Good luck. Take it over. Let's make it fun. Let's get this over with. Huh? It's on you. You won't regret this. <laughs> How do you like this? Get wrecked. Don't let me down. Hang back. You're mine. You ready? And now take him down. Leave it to me. Deal with that. You're in good hands now. Here I go. I'm a little worried Fluffy and the kittens might have been hurt. Do you mind if we head back to the village? You know, if we asked her nicely, I bet that head chef would take care of the kittens. I mean, can't say no to both of us, right? Guess we'll see. Come on. Thinking we might have monster trouble today. Huh. Guess even she can tell this place is nothing like it used to be. That's probably why she never came back here. What is it? Fluffy? After him. Oh, welcome. I'm afraid the staff is on break at the moment. If you're looking for Christine, she's upstairs. You might have noticed how some of our patients have number tattoos on their arms. it is oh my little baby i'm so glad you're okay and just look at all these yummy muffins you brought back with you she gave birth to her litter on the mountain oh sweetling you're going to be a great mommy i hope this is all right it wasn't exactly safe for a bunch of kittens couldn't just leave them so don't be silly dear you did the right thing i'll take excellent care of this family They'll want for nothing. Long I've dreamed of opening my home to little ones to play and romp and love. La 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 If I'm going to take these cats in, they're going to need names. You've got such beautiful white fur. Blanca. Yes, that fits perfectly, don't you think? As for the kittens, we'll decide later. Actually, the cat's already got a name.
What? You weren't hoping to hear me play, were you? I'm terribly sorry, Blanca, but I'm a bit worn out after all that excitement. Tifa can play. Cloud? What a wonderful idea! You'll humor us, dear, won't you? <sighs> okay. Just a bit. Hold that thought! This occasion calls for an accompaniment! I know some folks who would just love the chance to perform. Don't go anywhere. That escalated quickly. I wasn't expecting an audience. I haven't practiced since I was a kid. What should I do? Back out? Well, that's not an option. Then I think you better get warmed up. Genuine compliment. Glad that you could help. Take care of the cats for me. I certainly will. <laughs> Rest assured, I'll keep them very well fed. So bring your appetites. <coughs> All right, come along then. <coughs> Playing that piano again brought back a lot of memories. How mom used to teach me while dad was downstairs in the kitchen doing his best, which was pretty good. Hangouts with Emilio and the gang, <laughs> which we kept inviting you to, but you never came. Never? Really? Really, but you seemed fine on your own. That what it looked like? That I enjoyed being alone? You didn't? Of course not. Huh. Guess we still don't know each other that well. Well, never too late to make up for lost time. Yeah, that's true. I'm glad we came. Yeah, glad we found Fluffy too. 
I think you mean Blanca. But yeah, I hope she and the kittens are happy here. I'm not sure why that is myself. Maybe it's to mark one of the This is where we care for the patients. We provide checkups, treatments, whatever they need. Hmm? It'll be okay. Wow, you're doing great today. Slowly now. So that's Breathe in. Oh, what a pleasant surprise. Say, why don't you and those robed folks pose for a photo? It turns out that Shinra's in charge of the treatment facilities here. Getting permission to take pictures was not easy. All my photos will be reviewed, and if Shinra sees something they don't like, it's theirs. Just gotta impress those suits with some nice shots. If you find a good photo spot, don't hesitate to let me know. So that's Mount Nebel. It cuts a rather stern and imposing figure. The ragged ridges jutting into the sky, like something out of a fantastical painting. I can't imagine the folks in those treatment centers sleep easy with Mount Nebel looming behind them.
breaking news at this hour. Yeah, there's no news. <laughs> there taste buds. Breaking news at this hour. In response to last night's illegal broadcast by the SRC, So. Hey there! Thank you for tracking down that spot. Quite the view you captured. Well, I'll be. You've come a long way, friend. My heartfelt congratulations. You've earned the association's highest honor, which makes it official. You're a true master of the craft, a force of talent without peer. Said it before and I'll say it again. I saw your potential from the start. Oh. If I'm being honest, I didn't think you had this much potential. <laughs> it's been an inspiration to see you come into your own. Glad I could be a part of your journey. Before you go, I made you this. A little something to commemorate our friendship. Wherever the road takes you, I hope you walk it camera in hand. The world deserves to see your art. can play Queen's Blood with you, if that's what you want, okay? I'm so sorry. This is Dale. He loves playing Queen's Blood more than anything else in the world. Actually, I don't suppose you would mind playing a match or two with him. Just real quick, I'm not the best player. So I think he's been looking for someone who'll give him more of a challenge.
think I've ever seen him this happy. It must have been a great match. That's enough, Dale. He has other things to do, I'm sure. Thank you so much for taking the time to play with him. You might have noticed how some of our patients have number tattoos on their arms. This is where we care for the patients. We provide checkups, treatments, uh, whatever they need. Breaking news at this hour. You don't happen to be a card player, do you? It's no use denying it. You're slacking off because you want to play Queen's Blood. Because you're just like me. <laughs> I won't tell if you won't. Comrade, the name's Turner, the top truant. I say, screw working. I'm all about playing hooky. You'd be hard pressed to find anyone who's better at it than me. I don't give a damn about demotions. Prepare yourself.
That was impressive. I didn't think you beat me so easily. When I entered contests on the clock, I always won. Wait, could you be more of a slacker than me? But I devote all my time outside of roll calls specifically to playing Queen's Blood. Oh, I see. You're unemployed. Living the dream. <sighs> no, that's none of my business. You're a bigger fish. That's all. It was an honor to have played with you. I hope I'll have another chance someday. Uh, this area's off limits to civilians. Then can I at least get an advance on my salary? Unfortunately, we're not in a position to assist travelers. Would you like a room? Uh, safe travels. 